Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade from Moodle 3.11.6 to the latest 4.00. I'm on a C panel. I'm going to click on the upgrade. Since we're going to hit on the upgrade icon. Notice it says upgrade to version 4.0, so you know what you're upgrading to. I'm using Soft Ticklus. We're going to click on that and then create a backup. Now, create a backup, a backup is really important, but in this case, because this is a site that I use for practice, it's not really a site that uh, is used with users, I'm going to skip that. I'll pretend that I did. Uh, hit the upgrade and then notice what's happening here. It's going to reach a hundred and then it'll be ready. In the meantime, you can go for coffee and come back because it may take time. Of course, it depends on the size of your backup. That'll take time because first it's going to back it up and then it's going to continue with the upgrade. All right, but it's ready. That didn't take too long, right? Next, we're going to go into the admin. So there are two there. Going to hit the admin, and then we will start with the upgrade. Here we are. Going to click on continue, and from now on, it's going to be lots of continues. Now, make sure that everything is ready for this. Notice all everything is okay, so we're ready. Click on continue at the very bottom. Wait a few seconds. Notice uh, you may need some plugins that require your attention, require upgrading, but if not, you'll just scroll down to the very end and then continue. So here we are at the very bottom, upgrade Moodle database. And then it's going to upgrade to the new version. This may take a little bit, again, depending, of course, on your Moodle, on the size of your Moodle, and the number of plugins that you have, and of course, your own connection and your server connection. So everything is connected, but patient. So continue with the coffee. The main thing is not to lose faith. It will get there. Notice upgrading use notifications, preferences 100%, and it's going to continue. So wait for the next step. Don't do anything, you don't have to. And then it'll stop, start upgrading everything to the new version. So you'll recognize these perhaps from uh, your previous upgrades. Okay, it'll continue until it goes through everything. So first it goes to the core, and then it goes through your plugins. Remember, we're going from three to four. If you went from two to three, uh, this will look familiar. The last one is uh, log store standard. So that's uh, an indication. And then you'll see the word continue. You click on it. This isn't over yet. Now you need to log in. So I hope you didn't forget your username and password. Okay, these are the next steps. Notice uh, you click on the yes generally. You can read it if you like. Uh, I'm not gonna read it. I'm just gonna go straight to the bottom because I've already upgraded another Moodle site. So I know what's here. Going to save changes. Wait for the next step. Remember, patience is great, and that's it. Notice, this is what it looks like. Uh, the Moodle Partner, I think this part is new. Uh, the donation and the image under that support is not. Notice, here we are, Moodle 4.0. How exciting, and thank you. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to add them to the uh, chat to the comment box below. 
Notice here at the top right there is edit mode. That's how we do it. And let me just um, log out so you get a chance to see what it looks like for me. That's it. It's just a simple theme. There's really nothing here. But if you're interested in trying things out, let me know and I'll let you play around as well. Have a great day and happy moodling.